When you're getting ready to convert your information from ProCare version 9 over to V10, it's important to get rid of any old information in version 9 first. That's especially important if you have a mini version of ProCare as you're limited to having only 60 family accounts at any one time. So the first thing you'll want to do is make a backup as a precaution so that you have the older information in version 9 if you need it. You may also want to print any reports like customer statements or save them as a PDF ahead of time. Let's go into family data and accounting and take a look. The reason it's so important to delete old accounts from version 9 prior to conversion, especially for people with mini ProCare, is the way in which families with co-sponsors convert. Any family like the one shown on screen that has a sponsor, in this case Marsha, and a co-sponsor George, who both pay on the account, will be converted to version 10 as two separate accounts linked to the same children. In this case you can see each one has a balance due so we can tell right away that they each have activity on the ledger card and that's the key. If a co-sponsor has transactions on their ledger which we can get to by clicking in the balance box this co-sponsor will be converted as a separate account when you get over to V10. So that's the key thing. So any old families we're going to want to get rid of in order to make room for uh, the co-sponsors that will be part of the conversion process. So I happen to have one family that uh, I know is an older family. They haven't been with me in a while. At least they haven't been with me in the current year. It's the Jones family. They're deactive. And I know their child Nicole is withdrawn some time ago. They don't have any current transactions on their ledger card for the current year and I know that I don't need their information readily available when I get over to version 10. So I'm simply going to click the delete button and it's that easy. It's going to warn me that there are ledger card entries but in this case I know it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and say yes and that family is completely gone. So that has freed up one slot that I would then have available, uh, one additional slot that I'll have available for the conversion. Now if you want to get an idea of how many accounts are going to convert, how many families you're going to have once you get over to V10, there's a report that you can run under General Reports. We'll run an accounting report because what we want to do is make sure that we're accounting for any potential co-sponsors that we may have. You can run Letter B, the Account Activity Report, and I would just pick any date range. Uh, this particular report, I'll say this year, this particular report called account activity includes everybody so the date range isn't that crucial. I want to make sure I'm including active, deactive, and potential. And I'll click start and let me zoom in on this report a little bit. So if I take a closer look here you'll see that families that have a duplicated account key, meaning it's part of the same account in version 9, get a little asterisk by it to indicate it's a, it's a duplicate of the account key. Oftentimes this will indicate a co-sponsor or it could be two families that actually are different families but happen to have the exact same account key. But this is a good list to go by. If you add up the people that are shown here, that should be the number of accounts you'll end up when you get to version 10. Of course, subtract out any agencies that are listed. Agencies won't count toward your limit of 60 accounts. So we'll go ahead and exit. And that's the general idea of what you'll want to do in version 9. Now I'm going to switch over to version 10. In version 10, you can see that I now have two accounts, one Adam account listed under Marsha Adams with the two children, and a second account also under Adam listed for George Adams, again with the same two children. But these are now two separate accounts and count as two accounts toward my limit of 60. So that's the basic idea and the reason it's so important, especially if you have a mini, to remove those families ahead of time. There are more safeguards in version 10 to prevent you from removing families that have activity on their ledger card or time card, so it's much easier to get them removed when you're in version 9. And that's all you need to know about the basic idea of removing old families and how the conversion process works with co-sponsors in version 10.